Okay, so with this gear pattern here, it's the 13 speed. Uh, we have one, two, three, and four. And then we use the range selector to shift to the high range, and then we can locate five, six, seven, eight. Now you notice in these areas here, there's also a high and low uh, for the gears five, six, seven, and eight. Um, so it's called a splitter. So the splitter, each gear you can actually, it's got two stages. So if you were to go through each gear sequentially, you'd be going one, two, three, four, hit the range selector, then you could go five low, five high, six low, six high, seven low, seven high, and so on. Now those extra gears are really handy when you're going up a hill or you've got a load on. Uh, if you've got an empty truck, you're not going to be going through all those gears. In fact, you can even skip a few gears. Um, so, But that's what those buttons do. Now, if you can actually look at the gear stick here, uh, the red button on the side is the splitter, and the one at the front is the range selector. So the range selector, if it's in the down position like now, that's gears 1, 2, and 3. If it's in the high position, that is gear 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now, in 5, 6, 7, and 8, we can also activate this splitter. So in the backwards position, it's in low range. In the forward position, it's in the high range. Okay, I want to explain how the splitter works. Uh, the splitter is the button on the side. I'll already explain that. I'll show you how it works. So first and foremost, I pre-select the splitter. Then I speed the truck up, speed it up, speed it up, speed it up, speed it up, and as I release my accelerator, the engine dies and then that gear engages. So I've actually just changed from five low to five high then. The next gear I'm gonna go is to six low. So I'm gonna pre-select the button, speed it up, and just change the gear. So I've gone five low, five high, six low. So splitting gears is really handy when you've got a big load on or you're going up a hill and the gap between one gear and the next is just too high. So you can split gears and get those extra gears to get up that hill with your big load on. Okay, just demonstrate the splitter. I'm gonna split gears going up. Um, so I'm in low range, pre-select the button, accelerate, release the accelerator, it's engaged gear. Next one I'm gonna to go to is five low, so I pre-select the button and then change the gear. So that's six low. Now I'm gonna to go to six high, oh sorry, seven low. Seven, six low. Got it mixed up with the gears there. Okay, just gonna demonstrate the splitter again. I'm in five, six low. Six low, I'm gonna to go to six high, pre-select the button, speed the truck up, release. Now if you want to go back to low range, just by slowing the truck down, I then hit that splitter, and then when I apply the accelerator, it engages that gear. Okay, I'm just going to go up a gear, up to a high range now. Okay, one important thing about uh, changing gears with a road ranger, it's because the clutch has a, a clutch brake when you push the clutch all the way to the floor. Halfway out or somewhere halfway out is about that friction point. When you double the clutch, you only need to get it past that friction point. So you don't need to be going full clutch, full clutch for every gear change. So what you want to get in the habit of doing is when you change your gears, half a clutch, half a clutch. That's all you need for you with, when you uh, double on the clutch with the road range of gearbox. So half a clutch, half a clutch. Okay, go down the gears, pop it in neutral, give it a rev, pop it into gear. Pop it in neutral, give it a rev, pop it into gear. 